Hi guys, again, it's Amanda and Monica or Lumi, and we have a great design to show you how to make on the Rainbow Loom. Um, we actually saw th this design on her page and fell in love with it because of the name and what it represents. I mean, just because I'm a huge butterfly fan. So, and then the colors were absolutely stunning and then the, the bling on it was just amazing. So, just a little bit of information for you. I'm going to show you today how to do this design, which is called Zamoxis. Sorry about that. I had to find it on here. This is the design that we're going to be doing today from Artisan Loom. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love the butterfly. Sorry for the glare of the lights, but it's um, getting dark here, so I got to add a bunch of light. So this is her page on Instagram. She has a lot of bling and a lot of original designs. Um, so we're just actually helping her out right now to do a couple tutorials for her so she can um, just get everything together so she can start on her own. So anyway, once again, here is that design that we're going to be doing today. Zamoxis. I'm assuming that's how you say it. I tried to find it on Google how to pronounce it and I didn't have any luck. So, um, but it is a type of butterfly and also doing research, we did find out that it was also the name of a Greek God. So here's a couple things that we found on Google. Um, here's another picture of the butterfly. pretty cool and let's see there was one more I wanted to show y'all right there pretty cool and then it does tell you too about it being um, a Greek God so pretty cool name hope I'm saying it right Trish I apologize if we are not but anyway I have uh, three designs for you now this is the original one that she made and that's the actual design that we're going to be showing you today with these colors. And then I just did a couple of variations so you could see just how different uh, the design looks with different, different bands. So this tutorial, I'm actually going to show it to you and it's going to have no bling, just the basic um, design of how to make it. So no bling is added, but we do have another tutorial that we're going to be posting that has bling um, and shows you just how to make it the exact way that uh, Artisan Loom uh, created hers. So we just thought we would do the basics of how to do the design by itself. If for those of you that don't like bling and don't want to do bling, um, then you have this amazing design you can do. And then we just thought for those who do love bling, uh, like we do, just to show you how to walk th through the steps and some basic steps of how to add bling to this design. So, um, like I said, this is the design we're going to be doing today. Or this, these, these colors. And we have a few different colors that I'm going to show you. We're going to be using all rainbow loom bands, as always. That should go um, without saying. But we're going to be using opaque black. and the pearl white. Now when she designed this, she used metallic white. Um, I don't have metallic white, so I'm just gonna go with this, but I still think the design turns out really well. And medieval black. And the medieval collection, obviously. And this is silicone gray which we really love as well. And opaque teal. So you'll need today, we're gonna be doing this on two looms and a four par, four par, four pin setup, okay? As, as always, you want your arrows facing away from you and this configuration. Okay, I'm just going to show you what my 
loom looks like. Two looms, obviously, for the length that you want. And if you've seen our designs or our tutorials before, you know that uh, typically we do design on two looms, mainly because we don't like to add an extension. But if you don't have two looms, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you are a, a, an advent loomer, then you know pretty much that uh, how to add an extension to the design. So that kind of goes unsaid. Um, I know this is kind of a long intro, so I do apologize for that. But I do want to say um, for this design, you do need good quality sturdy bands. It gets very tight in places. Your loom may seem like it uh, is going to break. And I would also recommend to use a metal hook. If you don't have these things, that's fine. Uh, but just keep in mind that your hook may possibly break if you don't have a metal one. I hate to say that, but um, it gets pretty tight in places. And especially like where you've added here, where you've added the two looms together. I will say that it kind of likes to, to cringe in together. And then um, just trying to get all those bands, it does get pretty thick. Just trying to get all those bands to loop and pull through. It can get pretty tight and you do have a lot of tension. So I just wanted to say that this also, this design also is for the advanced loomer. Um, if you were just starting out, um, I would probably start with a beginner level as opposed to starting this design. So anywho, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our Zalmoxis design by Artisan Loom. All right. So we are going to lay our perimeter bands. I don't need my hook, but um, as of right now, so I'm just going to lay it over here on the side. And let's see, I may put these over here so you can kind of see these. And I do apologize for my stand. I'm hoping to be able to kind of crop that out um, at the end so you guys don't see it very much. I am going to put this over there a little bit more. All right. So perimeter band. If you want to use the same color scheme, I'm going to actually start with the medieval black, okay? Very simple perimeter. We're going to lay these bands just like this. And I would just kind of, uh, so you get that silver, if you're using the medieval, the, the silver color on top, try to keep the bands as straight on the pin bars as possible. It does take a little bit more time, um, but it's well worth it when you're actually looming and seeing that. See, I, I don't know. I just, I can't stand my bands to be twisted and I like them all the same way. So. So we're going to follow this chain all the way up both sides of the pin bar. Try to get my hands out of the way. Oops. Let's do this. I think that'll be better. And, okay, I just have to tell y'all, see how these bands are actually stuck together? That is like a thing for me. But I just absolutely love to pull them apart. I know it's weird, but All right, like I said before, we're just gonna follow this single chain as your perimeter all the way up on one side. And here we go again, we get to separate some. Woohoo! All right, I'm gonna stop right here just so I can show you how to continue on the other side. Just like that. All the way up. I'm 
straighten that a little bit. And I'm hoping to not have any interruptions. I'm actually, usually when I film, um, everybody's in bed, including kiddos, the, the dog's asleep, hubby's asleep, and I don't have to worry about any noise. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time if I'm interrupted by a member of my family. But... I needed to, uh, or I wanted to get this filmed, and it just so happened that uh, kids didn't have school today because it snowed. And yep, not even Thanksgiving, and it snowed. Oops, all right, look, got a broken one. So we're just going to continue up the side, both sides. guys know how to do this so I will just come back and show you how to close off the top okay okay so you can see that uh, I'm just gonna close off the top show you guys how to do that and take one side over the other one over as well and then one across the middle okay all right So our next step that we are going to be doing, we're going to be doing, um, laying some, I call them triangles, arrows, um, whatever you prefer to call them, but we're just going to be laying them on both sides all the way up the loom. And for this one, let's see, um, this one is, we're going to be using opaque black. Okay. So on the outside for the perimeter, we have the medieval black. And then we're going to be using opaque black for the triangles. Let's see. I believe it starts there. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, yes. Our triangles are going to start just like this. Or you can call them arrows. So you want them facing in. All right. And you just connect them. Oops, I didn't need three. And we're going to go all the way up the loom. So, how many of y'all like butterflies? I love butterflies. And that's another reason that I fell in love with this design. So, it's a very, very, very pretty design. Very original. Alright, just so I can show you on the other side how to start. And then we'll come back and finish. over here. Lay some of those down. Okay, that was wrong. All right, and just for, for just so we can um, work well later, I would definitely, as you're working, mash the bands down because with this design, it gets very thick and uh, you have bands just about all the way up and it gets very very tight so I would just make sure that those bands are pushed down especially in the middle these two pin bars here in the center they get full and they get very tight so just keep that in mind so 
So just continue with the triangles or arrows, whichever you want to call it, all the way up. So I know that uh, Monica and I, and also um, Artisan Loom, are um, very excited to see your all's designs, your all's creations with this bling, blinged or unblinged, whichever you prefer. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be a butterfly or anything like that, but um, we're very excited to see those. And this is going to happen. But I have to utilize every band that I have because I'm filming upstairs in a quiet room and I don't want to have to leave to go get more bands. So... Like y'all really needed to know that anyway. Have to angle this just a little bit so you guys can see it better. And we're going to lay our last one right there. All right. So this is what your loom should look like. I hope you guys can see it really good. All right. So that's our second step. So our third step, we're going to be laying. Actually, I'm just going to kind of go through and mash these down just a little bit. Now for this one, um, I'm going to be using the same colors for this uh, exact step. Um, it's kind of like two steps in one, so I'm going to be using the same color for that. I'm going to be using the teal. Mashing that down. Alright, so we're going to go, not this first set of pins, but we're going to go second pin up. Alright, and lay that horizontally. Push that down. Grab two more bands. I just like to hold them in my hand. We're going to have one and stretch it all the way from the second pin up to the third pin. All right. Same on the other side. Second pin up to the third one. And just kind of mash those down. You're going to lay another horizontal band and repeat the process. Another horizontal and repeat. Horizontal, diagonal. And I hope my hands aren't in the way for you guys. And this one you may notice. Um, Especially when you get up here and the more bands that you lay that it may seem like it gets a little bit loose and doesn't feel very secure. That's fine. Don't worry about it because when we loop, it will be totally secure. Because I know right now they just seem kind of flimsy laying there. But Alright, so... For that process, I'll show you just one more time. Make sure you lay horizontal first, then diagonally. And I'm going to continue this and we'll come back. So we have completed laying our vertical and horizontal bands. Well, they're, well, okay, they're not vertical. They're horizontal and diagonal. Sorry. All right. Anyway. All right, so this is what your loom should look like. And this is how it should look at the top or wherever you finish, um, whether it's one loom or two looms. You're going to leave this one without one to travel over, okay? So horizontal, no, diagonal. I'm sorry, I have my directions so screwed up today. 
and then the horizontal band. Okay. So now we're going to take another color. For this step, I'm going to be using the metallic silver silicone or whatever. I'm not sure what Rainbow Loom calls it. I forgot. But it's metallic. It's very stretchy. Works really good. Love it. All right. So the second step that we did, we laid triangles facing in. Okay, now for this step, we're going to reverse that and have your triangle spacing out. And we're going to follow that all the way up the loom. All right, so you can see our triangle went towards the middle. So now we're going to have our triangle facing out. Okay. And I know with the metallic silver, it may be a little bit hard to show up. But I just really wanted to stick with the colors that Trish used. So that's what it should look like. Okay. And we'll continue that up the loom. Actually, I'm just going to do it on this side so you guys can see how they should be next to each other. So lay your triangles slash arrows all the way up the loom. It's a little bit twisted. Now, as you can see here in the middle, they're really starting to get thick. All right, there's a lot of bands on here, okay? So we are just gonna push those down. We don't wanna push them down too far or too tight because when you do that, then when you go to loop, it just puts more tension on the band as far as looping it out and it makes it harder to get to so push down but don't want to push down too far like I said because you don't want to add that extra stress onto the bands a couple more of these and we'll come back with our next step Very simple. But you do want to make sure that you do have the bands overlapping and they're not separated. Okay, you don't want to have one here and then have one here. They need they do need to overlap. And I have to show off my bracelet that I'm wearing. For this tutorial this has turned out to be one of my amazing favorite designs artisan loom actually made this uh this is our design our spectrum design and uh, the spectrum one that we chose for uh, autism awareness and obviously you can see the puzzle piece and the bling that she has added and i just absolutely love her take on this uh our design so it's very pretty I love it and I love what it stands for. So, and I also have my other ones on. I have my autism awareness bracelet and the spread the word to end the word. So many people probably don't know what that is, but I do have a child with special needs and there are a word that people like to use on a regular basis that is, can be very hurtful to others. So in that word, we like to call it the R word just because we don't like to say it, but it is uh, for retarded. So uh, if you say, you know, so-and-so is retarded, then it can actually be very, very harmful to somebody else. So that's my soapbox for the day. But anyway, that's what that bracelet stands for. Spread the word to end the word for everybody to stop using it. So if you use it, maybe take it out of your vocabulary and think about what you're saying. So. Like I said, that's my soapbox for today, I think. Unless I decide to talk about something else. <laughs> so anyway, all right, I'm going to stop here. Do your triangles all the way up. And when we come back, I'll show you how I finished at the top. So when you're finished with the second set of triangles, the air or arrows facing out, your 
loom should look like this wherever you have finished or cut it off. Um, you want to lay them right here across the top. Okay. So we do have one more step of laying the bands and then we can actually start the looping process. Okay. So for this step of band laying, I'm going to be using the pearl white. Very, very pretty. Adds a little, little bit of shimmer if you don't want bling um, to this design. And so however you lay the bands, you need to con continue to lay the bands in the same direction as you started. You don't want to get them mixed up, okay? So. One there. Just like that. We're going to take it from these two pins down here at the bottom. This one. And lay it over to the right. This one, we're going to lay it over to the left. And just make an X. And we're going to make an X all the way up. Okay? But we're going to kind of cross over. So we laid a band here. So we need to lay a band here. Alright? So we started on this side. And we're going to start on this side again and lay our X. And you can, you know, obviously tell it's getting a little tight there as far as, uh, or thick I should say, is the bands. So we have starting a system of X's all the way up. Alright. So now, over there. So we'll go left to right, right to left. all the way up and just cross over kind of like an X well kind of it is <laughs> oh wait a minute skipped one let's see we got to talking here we go yep much better And make sure wherever you laid that X that you want to continue with the next X directly above it. Okay, you don't want to skip any. You just want to continue to lay up the up the loom. Getting tight in there. And if you have that, just make sure it kind of stays in the center. Alright, so I'm going to finish my part. You guys do your part. Pause the video, rewind, or do whatever you have to do and get to this point. And we'll come back and we will begin the looping process. Yay! I know we are laying a lot of bands, but it is totally worth it for this great design. And you will love the end result. Alright, with your last set of bands, you're going to use the third peg down from where you uh, closed it off. Just take it in. And there you have it. Alright, so here on these two pins, we're actually going to go ahead and cap these off. If you've watched our previous tutorials, you know that Monica and I both like to cap them three times. Two times kind of leaves the band a little bit stretchy. And maybe four times depending on the band. But with the, the dual layered bands, um, three seems to be enough. So, alright. And as always, well most of the time, turn your loom around and we can actually start looping. Okay? Alright, so like I said in the beginning of the video, I would highly, stre or highly stress for you to use a metal hook. 
Um, some people like to use crochet hooks for looping. That's fine. But I don't want to be responsible for your hook breaking if it's not metal. I'm sure you could probably do it um, with, with the plastic hook, but I just wouldn't chance it. Um, so that's my two cents for this design. Um, use a metal hook. Now, I can't stress to you enough either that right in through here, it does get very, very tight, okay? Um, especially on these pegs right in here all the way up. It does get very tight and you have to be very patient and very cautious when you're looping. If not, your bands will break and snap and hitch in the hand and it might sting a little bit. And I'm totally speaking from experience. I made three designs or three uh, different ones and I had bands break on all but this one, okay? Um, the perimeter bands, I mean, all of them, they just broke. And, but, you know, there's always a way to fix it. But just letting you know that ahead of time. So, and another thing I do want to apologize for my hands. I know they look like really, really red. But uh, from some of you know that, some of you don't know that I did hair for over 20 years. I was a hairdresser. And with my hands being in water all the time, they get uh, very, I don't want to say, uh, just very irritated, very easy with all the chemicals of hair color and perms and that kind of thing. Um, when winter time comes along, it's winter time here in the U.S. right now when I'm filming. Maybe not when you're watching, but um, they get uh, very, very red. And I do apologize for that. It's kind of embarrassing, but um, I'd love to do the tutorial. So I do hope you can look past that. So uh, just don't. Look at my hands. Just watch the loom and my hook. So, anyway. Alright. So, we're going to start with these two capped bands. Alright. And we are going to start with the band that's on top. With this design, you progressively loop the bands that are on top and you go down. Okay. Um, so, whatever's on top, obviously, is going to get looped first. And then you just kind of work your way to the bottom. That's how that design works. All right, so we're gonna go in the cap band, which is a little tight. Pull that top diagonal band up and over, okay? And you can see that this is very, very tight right here. This is why you need good quality bands and need to be using rainbow loom bands. Yes, rainbow loom bands do snap, but they do hold up better and um, they are less likely to snap on you as opposed to an off brand. So, all right, then we're going to go in that cat band, pull that one and loop it over. And you can see the tension that's there and the tension also that's on my hook. That's why I say use a little hook. So I'll try to keep my head out of the way. So now we're going to go to the next diagonal band over and over. Okay. Gets a little bit tight in here. Pull those back. And the, the easiest way really to kind of pull a band that's very, very uh, taunt on the, the loom to so kind of pull it back over kind of just like wiggle it out before you jerk it out and try to start looping it okay you can see it's very tight stretch it a little bit too kind of kind of wiggle it and work it out starting on the wrong side always want to go for this design you want to go right to left with your diagonal bands okay right and left right and left, right, 
left. I just, I, obviously I can't, y'all can't see or I can't show you, but when I'm pulling this band from here, just the tension that's on this hook. It's just like, it's major. So just be prepared, okay? Be prepared that you may have a band that snaps or you may have a hook that breaks. So, but like I said, it's well worth it. All right, I'll do uh, one more sequence and then finish it off myself, okay? Up, and like I said, right to left. Right to left. All right, you guys, work hard, be cautious, and stretch those bands out before you loop them so they don't break and then come back. All right, I have looped my first set of bands. This is what it should look like. It's just what it should look like at the top. And you may notice that if you have put two looms together to create uh, one without an extension, that it may kind of be bowing in the middle. Perfectly normal. Loom kind of rocks, and that's okay too. So, all right. So we're going to move on to our next looping, which is going to be our metallic silver. Okay. That's the next band that should be on top for you. Like I said, we're just going to work our way down. So we're going to go in the cap band again. I'm going to kind of push these down so I can separate it so I know where to grab it. We're going to pull this. Like I said, just kind of pull out. And we're going to loop these over to these on the side. Okay, I'll show you that again. On here, obviously, you're not going to have a cap band, but grab the metallic silver up and over, lay that on top, and over to the side. I'll show you one more time on this side. Okay. Just kind of wiggle that out of that cap band. Lay it over. Pull that up. Lay it on top of there. And over. Okay. Now in here you are going to have... I'm sorry. I'm way off screen. Okay. You are going to have to go in or down behind that white band or whichever color you're using pull up the metallic gray silver whichever you want to call it and loop it over wiggle that out of there up over Do it a few more times. If you may notice, you may have to kind of finagle that band in there. Okay. And just continue up the loom. Show you one more time and I'll complete mine and you can complete yours. All right, we'll be back. So you should have your top set of triangles looped from end to over to the side. All right all the way up. Next step, we are going to do these. Okay? Now you're not going to loop these like you typically would loop. We're going to kind of do it reversed, okay? Instead of taking this to this, 
we're going to take it here to here, okay? So looping it backwards, back upon itself instead of up upon itself, okay? So you will probably notice that this is very, very tight. So we're going to have to go in there. Grab that band, work it out, and then over to itself. Same for this. Work it and pull it out to itself. We're gonna go in, grab that top green or teal or whichever color you have and loop it down upon itself. I typically like to go side to side with my design so when I'm moving up the loom I don't have to go all the way up and then come back down and go back all the way up. I just like it even. It's my is how I like to do it. I'm not saying it's the right way and it's not the wrong way. You do it however you'd like to do it. That's just my personal preference. So this is very simple. I'm going to try to keep my head out of the shot because with I found out with this design that I kept Getting up really, really close to seeing where I was working. And you may notice that it's really good probably with these bands to use opaque colors. They're a little bit stretchier. They do have to stretch farther and there is a little bit more tension on them. So that would be my suggestion to you. With the dual layer bands, they're good. Um, they're good for lots of designs, but on, and you know, obviously we're using them in some, uh, some in these, but for certain steps, they may not be good. Now see uh, how much tension I have right there. So we are just going to continue this up the loom. Alright, I am going to have to tilt it so I can get to it. Did you hear any background noise? I apologize. My daughter's in the room right next to me and she's playing, so. I told her to be quiet, but you know, kids don't like to listen. So I guess I'll just keep on filming until I'm almost done here. And then we can move on to the next step. Man, 
and that one was tight. This one's going to be too. So you can go in, try to relieve some of that tension. Oh, I'm over too far. Grab that band, relieve some of that tension. Just like that. There we go. And you can pull that band back down on itself. All right. So that's the step for that band. All right. So the little horizontal bands that we laid, that's the next thing that we're going to loop. These are fairly easy, goes pretty quick. Pull that one over to itself, go back in, get the one underneath it, pull it up and back again. This is where it gets a little tight. I wanna know how many times I've said that already. <laughs> This is another reason that opaque bands are good for this step. Stretchy. Over to the right, back in, and only grab the teal band or whichever color you have and back over. So kind of like you're making a figure eight. One last time. Over to the pins in the middle. I keep hitting the stuff. And you may just kind of have to, even with your fingers, just kind of twist it on there or get it to stay on there because there's so many bands on these second pins in. Okay. All right. So I'm going to continue all the way up the loom. And you continue all the way up the loom and come back and we will continue looping. We have two more steps after this. We have triangles and then the peri perimeter and then we'll be finished. All right, so you should have in the middle, your loom should look like this. Okay, all the way up from the bottom to the top. All right, two more steps. And we're done looping. This step, we're gonna grab this opaque black triangle that was the second that we looped, or sorry, that was the second that we placed. We're gonna go in from the middle, or the pointy side of the triangle, you could say, or arrow, whichever you wanna use. Pull those bands back and loop them over to the two pegs that it came from. Same in there, loop it over. Pull that band back, loop it over. Okay, show you down here. Loop it back to itself like that. This one's pretty easy. Pretty easy. Still a little bit of stress there on the bands, but um, it's good. Oops, let's do this. I accidentally skipped one, so I'm going to hold that one up and loop. Pretty easy, right? Let's 
So you loop yours, I'm going to loop mine, and we will come back again. All right, so you should have all of your inside triangles looped. Looks like this. And you can see that those triangles, what they're doing is they are connecting these here and spreading them out. So now comes the easy part, all right? We are going to loom our perimeter, okay? If you notice at the bottom, you have a band that's right here that's kind of on top of these two. So this is going to kind of work as like a capping band again, all right? We're going to go in, go underneath that one, pull that one up. Maybe a little bit tight and loop it over. All right, with these dual layer bands, whether it be Persian, medieval, it's sometimes very hard to get the same color that you want on top. Like, I don't know if you know what I'm saying or not, but sometimes it can kind of, I don't know, it'll kind of roll and lay like that. I tried, and this is the first time I made the bracelet, so um, you can see in here, some of them, all the silver's not showing. It's just kind of the black, like right in there. That's kind of what I'm talking about. So with these dual layer bands, you just have to have patience with them if you want the symmetrical color all to show through, or if you like the dual layer look, um, you know, having different colors shine through, shine through, then that's, you know, that's good too. But I don't know, I'm kind of the symmetrical type and I like to see all of the same all the way through. So, all right, so we're just gonna loop, lay that band on top and we're just gonna loop our perimeter. Tension there, easy to fix, go in and adjust it like that, okay? Go back in, pick that band up Whoops, and I just messing with my tripod. All right, perimeter looping. I'm going to go back over here where I left off. Like I said, sometimes it's good just to wiggle those out of there. Okay, and this, guys, is the easy part, so you should be able to... Um, Loop this part on your own. Very easy, I've already shown you what to do. And we'll come back and we'll take this one off the loom, okay? All right, so I saved this last perimeter step um, just to show you, it's very easy, just because we just have that single band across the top. Um, we've looped all the way up to here for the perimeter. I go in, pull that over, pull that over. I'm going to pull this off like this, grab a hold, pull this off like this, and then I'm going to clip it. And for the thicker bands, I like to use the wider C-clips from Rainbow Loom. So make sure that's secure. Okay. Now, we are done looping everything. All right. But I can't stress to you enough, you have to be very, very gentle when taking uh, this amazing creation off the loom. Do it slowly. And not a lot of, you know, pulling. Mainly try to do as much as you can with your hook. Okay. Okay. Because this bracelet is a very intricate design and I'd hate for it to break or pop on you or band snap while you're just taking it off the loom just because uh, we were trying to hurry up and get it off. So anyway, I'm going to start down here. Very tight. And just work my way up. Okay. 
This is another reason probably I would use a metal hook. This is a great creation. Lots of bands. You don't want to break a pin bar. You don't want to break your hook. You don't want to break your design, of course. So, just very carefully pull that off with your hook. And also, I think it helps a lot too when uh, the design is completely off the loom and you have that finished look and it's not all twisted and messy and just kind of keeps the design together. Once again, guys, I do apologize for my hands. It's really embarrassing, but hey, what can you do? All right, so now we just have it on the center peg. Now, typically you'd be able to just take these off and pull them. I would not suggest doing that, okay? I would suggest just kind of pulling it still. With your um, hook. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this off and we'll come back and we'll see it. So we have gotten it off of our loom. That was a little bit of work. And here is our design, okay? Um, I probably wouldn't say that it's reversible. Uh, this is obviously the signature side, but um, I mean, I guess if you really wanted to, you could wear it like this, but this is how it's designed to wear. Um, you can see both pretty much the same. And then we have same designs, just different colored patterns. It's amazing how um, different a bracelet can look with different colors. All right, so that is our Zalmoxis bracelet designed by Artisan Loom on Instagram. We do have another tutorial coming out that is a blinged version of this. So make sure if you are interested in blinging this design that you check it out. It will be probably uploading uh, or already uploaded uh, the same time that these two will release them both at the same time. If not, it'll be within a day or so. So make sure you check that out. And also follow us on Instagram, obviously, at Amanda Monica Lumi. Follow Artisan Loom as well. She has some pretty amazing designs um, and maybe we get a chance to work on another one or one or two of her designs that would be great hashtag all of your creations to Amanda and Monica Lumi so we can check those out and then also tag us in your picture we now do have a Pinterest page uh, we are on Facebook as always Amanda and Monica Lumi so comment like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all our latest designs coming out and also for the designs that we are doing for our good friends on Instagram. So take care and happy looming and loom on.